Hello everyone, and Shlam Chon Yisgei, may your peace abound. In this video, we're going to start to look at how the Aramaic New Testament Peshitta emphasizes the deity of Jesus Christ, or Yeshua Mashiach, in Aramaic, in a unique way that the Greek New Testament does not. I want to preface this discussion with the caveat that I do not know exactly how the Aramaic dialect used in the Peshitta, or Syriac, is pronounced, so I'm assuming it is similar to Biblical Aramaic, and I'm going to pronounce it as such. Uh, let me state first that the Greek New Testament very clearly declares the deity of Yeshua, or Jesus. However, a feature of the Greek New Testament is that it uses a circumlocution for the Hebrew sacred tetragrammaton, or Hashem HaMefchash, or yod heh vav -Heh, Yahweh, uh, in the Greek New Testament, Yahweh is translated as Kyrios. The problem is that Kyrios also translates Adon, a synonym for Yahweh, the difference being that Yahweh only refers to God, while Adon can refer to either God or men. A good example of this is Psalm 110.1, which says, Naom Yahweh Ladoni. Yahweh says to my Adon, in the Greek, this is quoted in Matthew 22:44 as "Ipen Kyrios to Kyriom." Kyrios says to my Kyrios. So you see, the two Hebrew names Yahweh and Adon are translated by one Greek word, Kyrios. In the Greek New Testament, Yeshua is called Kyrios numerous times. However, since Kyrios is used to translate both Yahweh and Adon. We don't know which of these occurrences is Yahweh and which is Adon. The Aramaic Peshitta, however, does make a distinction, as can be seen in its rendering of Matthew 22:44. The Mach Mach Ya La Mari, Mach Ya says to my Mach. Thus, Mach is the Aramaic equivalent of Adon in Hebrew. Lord in English, and Mahya is the Aramaic equivalent of Yahweh, a compound of Mah and Yah, Yah being cognate to a contracted form of Yahweh used in the Hebrew. Thus, Mahya can be translated into English as Lord Yahweh. For example, the Peshitta quotes the Shema in Mark 12:29 as, Hear Israel, Machya, the Lord Yahweh, your God, Machya, the Lord Yahweh, he is one. Uh, and in Deuteronomy 6 4, the Hebrew says, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our God, Yahweh is one. So, Mach then is simply translated as Lord. For example, 1 Peter 3 16 in the, in the Peshitta says, just as Sarah was subject to Abraham and was calling him Mahi, my Lord, which is a reference to Genesis 18.12, which says, Sarah laughed to herself, saying, After I have become old, shall I have pleasure? Adoni, my Lord, being old also. So you can see that Aramaic Mah equals Hebrew Adon, while Aramaic Mah Yah equals Hebrew Yahweh. Now, in the Peshitta, Yeshua is called both Mar and Maria. For example, Luke 2.11 in the Peshitta is, For today the Savior has been born to you, who is Maria Mashiach, the Lord Yahweh, the Messiah, in the city of David. 1 Corinthians 8.6 in the Peshitta reads, To us ours is one El Ha'ava, God the Father, for all things are from him, and we are in him. And the one, Machia Yeshua Mashiach, Lord Yahweh Yeshua, the Messiah. For all things are by him, and we are also in his hand. And in the Peshitta, the confession that all will one day make in Philippians 2.11 is, Every tongue shall confess the Machia Yeshua Mashiach, that Yeshua the Messiah, is the Lord Yahweh. Thank you and Mehode Anah.